2014 NPL National Championships were launched at Amy Park this week with the exciting announcement of new major sponsor PlayStation 4. FFA CEO David Gallup addressed the many dignitaries about the importance of bringing grassroots and top tier football in Australia closer together. Opportunity to launch our final series, eight teams left now and uh, going into an exciting four matches. Also announced today a great commercial partner for National Premier Leagues with Sony PlayStation 4, a worldwide brand getting involved at this level of Australian football. And we were also able to say today that the winner of National Premier Leagues in 2014 will get a direct spot through to the FFA Cup round of 32 in 2015. And uh, to have that connection between these clubs and the A-League and close the gap uh, in the skill levels is an important part of the setup of National Premier Leagues. It's fantastic to have PS4 on board as a major sponsor, a brand that supports football all over the world, including the FIFA World Cup and the UEFA Champions League. To see a huge global brand supporting grassroots football in Australia is a massive boost for the future of the local game. We, we've sponsored the Socceroos, we've been involved in UEFA, but I really wanted to get involved with uh, grassroots and when the FFA brought the National Premier League opportunity, it had never been sponsored before, uh, we just jumped on it. I think that the, the National Premier League tournament is fantastic and then along with that the FFA Cup you know, has just uh, really created a buzz in grassroots football. It's great to see the quality of play in the, in the National Premier Leagues across the country and I'm sure we'll see that the, the, the championship series. And then to see the FFA Cup where you know, you've got NPL teams knocking off A-League teams, I think uh, it's really elevated the NPL and we're very excited to be part of it. The South Melbourne contingent was led by team captain Michael Liga and coach Chris Taylor while our youth development was also on show with under-12 captain Adam Brigo also in attendance. So how was your season? Good. Good. You want to play uh, South Melbourne senior team one day? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, mm. do you get along to watch the boys play on the weekend? Watch yeah, the senior I watch boys? most of their home games. Yeah. Who's your favourite player there? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, told him, I told him to say that. <laughs> Hi, my name's Adam Brigo and I play for South Melbourne under-12s. I'm very happy because I got to play FIFA 15 before everyone else, anyone else and I also beat Michael Ego on the PS4. Yeah, it's been a great day. We've had uh, David Gallup, uh, everyone from FFA, Sony PlayStation obviously speak and uh, be the guests here as well. So some exciting news um, with the addition of the winner of the NPL Nationals getting a spot in the FFA Cup for next year. Um, but most importantly, uh, the focus is on our next three weeks, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, tremendous with the new sponsorship, um, you know, and highlighted by, you know, being on the national stage again, which is great for everyone at the club. Um, you know, our target this year was to take out the championship, we've done that, uh, but now we've got new goals, um, and it's great to put the club back to where it should be on the national stage. There are eight teams vying for the ultimate prize in the NPL this year. Let's take a moment to get to know the competitors. From capital football, the Kuma Tigers. The Kuma Tigers are the league champions for the first time in the club's history and have booked themselves a spot in the NPL playoffs. After winning 13 of 16 matches in the Capital Football League, the Tigers clinched the title by five points. They fell short of a double after missing out on the grand final, but they'll still be buzzing with the chance to compete on the national stage. From Football New South Wales, the Bonnie Rig White Eagles. In one of the most remarkable finishes to a season, Bonnie Rig White Eagles won the title in the last minute of the last game of the season. Their very late winning goal saw them move one point ahead of the heartbroken Blacktown Spartans on the final day. All eyes will be on Bonnie Rig to see if they can match the efforts of Sydney United and keep the NPL trophy in New South Wales. From Northern New South Wales football, the Western Workers. In the Northern New South Wales Premier League, it was the Newcastle Jets youth who finished on top of the table at the end of the home and away season. However, being ineligible to compete in the NPL National Playoffs, that prize went to Western Workers Football Club. It was a bright season for the Bears, who fought their way through to the grand final, only to fall short to the eventual champions, Lambton Jaffers. Without a doubt, that will be spurring them on to claim some silverware on the national stage. From Football Queensland, the Palm Beach Sharks. What a season for Palm Beach. They dominated the Queensland League to take out first place by seven points. They were renowned as a remarkable attacking side, netting 73 goals in 26 games. They recently capped off their memorable 2014 season by taking out the grand final 3-2 over Brisbane Olympic. Whoever comes up against them will have to find a way to shut down that Palm Beach strike force. From Football Federation South Australia, Metro Stars Soccer Club. In South Australia, it was Metro Stars taking out their second consecutive league title. 
2014 saw them finish in first place, eight points ahead of their nearest rivals, West Adelaide Football Club. Across 26 games, they managed to score 63 goals and their miserly defence only conceded 19. This is clearly a side that knows how to win and they'll want to take that form to the NPL National Playoffs. From the Football Federation Tasmania, South Hobart. South Hobart's 2014 season showed us why they're the premier team in Tasmania, having claimed their fifth title in a row this year. Their stats make for some impressive reading, with South Hobart scoring an incredible 89 goals in 21 games and conceding only 18 to finish with an astonishing goal difference of 71. They made it to the NPL final in 2013, eventually going down to Sydney United in the final. That will be all the motivation they need to go one step further this time. From Football West, Bayswater City. It was a tight finish to the season in West Australia. Bayswater City prevailed by two points over old rivals Perth Soccer Club in a league that came down to the final day. They doubled their joy a few weeks later when they defeated Perth in the grand final to take a great deal of momentum into their NPL campaign. Bayswater will have the honour of being the first West Australian club to compete in the NPL National Playoff. From Football Federation Victoria, South Melbourne Football Club. Finally, our very own South Melbourne FC. We all know what an amazing season it's been to take the title by seven points and storm into the NPL playoffs. As Australia's most successful club, it's fitting that South should be the first Victorian representative on the national stage. Chris Taylor's men will need to extend their brilliant form against the rest of Australia's finest if they're to take out their first NPL national title. So now you know the teams, we look forward to the 2014 PS4 NPL national playoffs.